Hi guys, it's August 9th, 2022. It's a Tuesday and it is blazing hot out here, but I kind of wanted to document <laughs> for my own good um, the three different varieties that we have mature that are, that are giving us berries right now. And they're all exist in this one spot. So I thought this would be a good spot to take the video. So this spot has smaller growth with smar smaller berry production and I compared to other spots, like if you take a look around the corner here, that's huge. And then you look over here and that's a lot smaller. But you do notice that there's a larger center section and two smaller sections on the edge. And what that is, is I have a York and a York and an Adams. So Say that again, we missed it. I have a York, York and an Adams and a York. So the Adams has a tendency to grow a lot taller. There's also something else tucked in here that I hadn't realized that I had put a couple of sticks in that have taken root that's actually different. And this guy right here has already buried, flowered and buried and is done. And this is a native variety that came from edible landscaping and they called it native elderberry. So this guy is native. Now what makes him different? Two things, the fact that it's already buried and done. It's the first one to come. So that's one of my key factors. The other thing is, is if you look at the leaves, like if I'm looking at this leaf right here, see how it's a little more fatter and then comes down to that point. This guy is very long and skinny. And as it grows up, it just becomes more of that. So I can kind of look at these and tell which ones are that native. Like right here, this guy popping out, this is the native. And it's because of the leaf. So those are the two ways to tell that native. Now how to tell the York from the Adams. It gets a little tougher because, you know, it could be the conditions of the soil that makes something not grow as well. So I can't say the Adams is always bigger, but the Adams is on the general part is usually bigger. But if they're not growing right next to each other, sometimes that's hard to tell. So another way that you can tell is um, if you look at this guy right here, if you come in and take a look, See how this is red? So when you start seeing red, that's an absolute sign that you've got an Adams when you see red on here. And, and it's a pretty, you know, that's, that's a pretty distinctive red. When you look at the berries, lots of times the berries are a little bit bigger than the Yorks and probably a little bit like the umbral itself ends up being bigger, but when you're looking over here and you see this guy, this is, I know is coming from the York. Now, originally I had it labeled as a York. So that's one of the reasons that I know. But at the same time, look at this. When you come down the stem and you look here, no red, not red, not red, not red. Now the native is not red either. So you gotta watch out for that. But the fact that it's bearing right now makes it a York and um, and then not having the red. It also has like, just like the, uh, the Adams, it's got that fatter leaf. It's not a long skinny leaf. So that's pretty much how I can have a jumbled mess of the different cultivars and be able to identify which one is which. And what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to take flagging tape before the, um, before this whole harvest season is over. And I'm going to go ahead and flag by color which ones are which cultivars. So next winter, when I do the cuttings and I'm selling the cuttings, I'm going to have a 100% ID on this is an Adams, this is a York, even though they're mixed together like, like a diverse forest instead of distinctive rows of this and this. So that's how we're doing it here at Forever Foods Farm. Bye.